the recovery room or post anesthesia care unit. This video is about the recovery of patients after surgery with general anesthesia. Patients require close monitoring to ensure there are no immediate complications after the anesthesia and the surgery. In some hospitals, the recovery room is a separately administered area with all the components in place to promote patient well-being. In such cases, the recovery is called the post-anesthesia care area and is the responsibility of the anesthetists. However, in other situations, the patient's recovery is supervised by the surgical team. The goal of the post-anesthesia care unit is to ensure the patient has a safe post-operative recovery immediately following surgery and can be shifted out to the ward or special care as per need. The specific objectives for the staff are to firstly receive the patient from the operating room and take complete instructions from the anesthetist and the surgeon. They need to monitor the pulse, temperature, blood pressure, heart rhythm, intake output of fluids, medication given, level of pain or discomfort, vaginal discharge, patient level of consciousness. Monitoring includes other aspects as per the procedure that has been performed. If any abnormality is noted, inform the supervising team immediately. All catheters should be draining and urine output should be checked for color and quantity. Patients after abdominal surgery may start bleeding internally. And in such cases, the patient may have hypotension, hypoglycemia, or respiratory depression. The supervising team needs to be informed immediately and action needs to be taken as per instructions. Thirdly, follow the surgeon's instructions for maintaining the patient in a position to ensure minimum complications. After orthopedic surgery, Patients may have to be kept in a specific position and similarly after gynecological fistula surgery there should be no pull on the urinary catheters. Staff has to check for swallowing or gagging. Monitor the patient's level of consciousness. Prevent aspiration in case a patient has vomiting. Recognize when and where the patient is shifted after recovery. An unconscious patient has to be closely monitored. Staff also may require to perform special procedures such as taking an ECG, a venipuncture, venisuction with catheterization, an arterial puncture for blood gases and or intubation. Staff also has to evaluate when the patient is hemodynamically stable, fully conscious, able to speak and breathe normally, and can be transferred from recovery. Depending upon the complications the patient may have had during surgery or after surgery, sometimes patients need to be shifted to intensive care unit or coronary care unit or neurological care unit or a special care unit. Now we move on to the minimum number of drugs and equipment that should be readily available in the recovery area. These include crash cart and intubation trolley, a BiPAP machine, equipment for taking a ECG and monitoring the heart continuously. Drugs must be available, for example, atropine, 
succinylcholine, midazolam, ephedrine, and epinephrine. Adult and pediatric oxygen masks should be readily available, as should sterile and disposable syringes, cannula, and heplock. We need alcohol swabs and saniplast, gauze pieces, sterile and non-sterile gloves, hand sanitizers and disposable bucket for sharps at every station. A crucial part of the patient's recovery is the care immediately after surgery. Hospitals, anesthetists and surgeons are entirely responsible for the care of patients and their safety immediately after surgery.